Welcome back, everybody, for the grand finale of the Surya Varman, the first co-op campaign. We've got Nirvana Pada here that I, uh, of course, played with Debbie. And this is my favorite scenario of the uh, regular Surya Varman campaign in single player, just because it's so epic in scale and you've got, you know, a couple different routes to victory. You've got a bunch of different enemies and all that stuff. I was really hoping that I could play as Diviet here because you can potentially ally with them uh, in the single player version, but no. Here, both players are going to be Khmer, as you will see right about now. Our grand finale. Hi, YouTube! <laughs> is this the final one? This is the grand finale. Oh, boy. Do, we, do you think we're gonna die now? Maybe. Why am I house? Oh, wait, the villagers. Oh god, I have months. I'm so bad playing with months. Okay, yeah, so they they did what I think is the uh, the not as fun approach. Oh yeah? Because, uh... Yeah, you see how there's yellow dive yet? I thought that one of the people would play as dive yet. Oh, okay. But no, you, you normally start with these two bases. And, you know, they just split it among the two of us. So yeah, we need to defeat three out of five enemies. Three out of... Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't need to defeat everybody. So in case we're just too bad... We're still fine. But it is a uh, 5v1. Or 5v2, actually. Again, I start with way more than you, though. Oh, and I'm wondering why I'm housed again, because he still hasn't built his houses, because he's fighting Bucky against a freaking Komodo dragon. I don't even know why there are Komodo dragons here. They're not native to this part of the world. Get this, Komodo dragons are native to the island of Komodo in Indonesia. Oh, I didn't know I was attacking someone here. Oh, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, so yeah. the southern chum are purple, and they'll train a big navy and, you know, a bunch of infantry and archery units, like Malay stuff. Oh, he has shooting ducks. <laughs> also known as harbors, but I like shooting docks. <laughs> that's, a, that's fun. Like, uh, in, in Germany, we don't have a difference. We just have half of that's everything. We don't make a difference between docks or harbor or haven. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why Teutons have such a bad navy. <laughs> could be, could be. Oh, yeah. Uh, 150 pop limit, I assume. Yep. Like I'm, I'm. Oh, I'm gonna just go here. Sorry. I was like thinking where to go. Uh, you can attack towards purple if you want. No, I'm not, not attacking wise. I was like where to put my eco. Oh, um. I'm just gonna go down there. Yeah, exactly. That's where you're supposed to go. Yeah. Oops. Oops! I didn't want to kill the deer. That was not Feels very dear of you. Man. I just wanted my guys to go there. You know? yes. I think I should build more docks. 
I mean, yeah, obviously fishing eco can be really strong if you can uh, protect them. God damn it. Not only because of that, but uh, Purple has quite some gods there, so I'm sure that he's gonna build ships and such. Oh yeah. They do. I was so confused where my villagers went in order to build a TC. They went all the way around. I thought they could cross here. <laughs> oh, no, no. You need to go all the way around town. Oh, my God. It's still where you're so supposed ugly. to go, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so confused. Um... Guys, be a little bit more useful. Well, I mean, they killed off all the uh, Komodo dragons. You know? <laughs> Progress. Ah. Yeah. The Lavo Kingdom. Get out of here. Wow, it eats Rotan Archer, really? Let's build a castle over here to better defend ourselves. <laughs> Did I ever get this relic over here? I guess so. Yeah. Ooh. It's got some gold. Okay, why are my boats not doing anything? Can you help here with those? Yep. For some reason, my my boats were my ships were just standing there while Gray just just passing, just just passing. Oh yeah, now now we're turning up the heat. Yeah, normally uh, Gray is green. I mean, one, if you're colorblind, that's always the case. But two, um, in the scenario. Oh, I already have ballistics? Yeah, we're in Imperial Age. So we have all Castle Age upgrades. Yeah. Oh wait, there's a relic right there that I never noticed. Fighting him again? I I guess that. Oh here. Call me. Yeah, yeah. Um 
try and send some oh, units over there. Left. Wait, no, you got this. You got this. I think I need more elephants. He goes Arbalest, and I'm definitely going to stay cap. Thirty-five on wood—that's way too many. Oh boy. Oh boy. Tricky yeah. one. Yeah. Oh no, my boat is caught behind yeah. the. Yeah. Uh, uh, look where it spawns for whatever reason. Oh, uh, pro player Debbie right here. Pros. Water army and land army. Yep. Well, to be fair, I need to defend against uh, four land <laughs> armies. Fair. Oh god, I did. The Viper says that all the time. <laughs> yep. But, like, he just recently started with it, though. Yep, sounds good. The faster you win, the faster you eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm busy. I have to carry on you. I would love to have pasta, but I think those carriers close today. Uh, I'm just damage. finishing this and then we talk. Oh, that's weird. I have chemistry, but this time I cannot make a galleon. Oh yeah, they, they banned cannon galleons for this level, because they'd be too overpowered. Feels dead, it's okay, Viper wouldn't know what having to uh, win a campaign is like. Oh. Can, and you can make seed trams. How much pop do we have? 150. Oh, okay, then we pop. Five 
One day I'm gonna get this relic. And I think today's that day? What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was doing uh, Elite Battle Elephant. Because, see, we can uh, ally with them for a thousand gold. Like, no. I thought one of, the, one of us would control this base. Scorpions. <sighs> At least if they don't attack us in the south. Because uh, we, we ain't got nothing defending that. Yeah, it's a pretty expensive upgrade. Alright, starting to make progress. <laughs> Where is that trap shooting here? Huh? Oh, is that mine? Oh, oops. Yeah, it sounds thought it was an enemy. <laughs> L U L. I 
thought it was an enemy trap shooting on my castle, but it was actually my trap just shooting on buildings, and it looked like it came from the other way. Unlikely excuse. Nice, not cast. Lost. Why is it taking so long to destroy a freaking archer range? Though? Escape. Oh, Another unsolicited, unsolicited historical fun fact. The Cham people um, are native to southern uh, modern-day Vietnam. But are a, a group of people wholly different from the you know the main Vietnamese uh, people, and they were actually Hindu for a very long time until in around the 1600s, where they converted to Islam, and are uh, you know one of the they're, they're still around. They're pretty heavily persecuted at various points, but they're still hanging around. <laughs> Just hanging. I like the confidence in that. Oh yeah, let's uh let's go pay out the uh whoops. Yep. We actually pay the guy to be our buddy? Yep. Our enemies are mustering as we speak. Okay, red should be gone. Oh wait, is that oh, military forces us to our knees? Purple has a lot of small like this is the second base I'm already taken. Yeah, they have three small bases. You'll be able to take down uh, purple really soon, and then you'll be, and I'll be able to take down orange, and then we'll be GG. Yep. Feeling purple has given up because there's nothing coming anymore from it. 
No, they're still training units, they just don't have any production buildings. <laughs> you should get siege engineers, by the way, it's a good upgrade. For building faster, right, or something? Uh, 25% more damage to buildings for siege units. Awesome. You can just swing whatever units you have left over here. But we might even win before then. Who are our peeps? Who are... Do we have, do we have any uh, other teammates than us? Right, well, because you said we could buy someone? Uh, yeah, there's Diviat here in the north. Oh yeah, he's our teammate. I think we just need to destroy this stable and we're good to go. Easy peasy. Build and defend a wonder. Oh, we also could have done that. Yeah. <laughs> That's boring. <laughs> Yay! We dominated! Oh, yeah. So you can, you can see we also could have taken down Grey. They have like a couple castles and some ships and stuff. Or we could have taken down Blue. They do not have any castles, they just have a bunch of towers. Yeah. Fun. That was fun. Thanks for uh, playing these uh, scenarios with me. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, just hit me up whenever you uh, play another and by YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that was the Studio of Arman, the first co op campaign. Nirvana Pada, a little bit on the trickier side, but not too bad, especially considering that it was a pretty fast scenario. But uh, just to show you guys real quick the differences between uh, the co-op and single-player version, which I hope you don't mind me doing or rather appreciate me doing, taking the time to do it all minute long. So as you can see, uh, the first player, you know, the host player, does start with a more or less modified version of this base. You get a town center right here, of course. Get uh, these docks on the Mekong River. Shut up! No. <laughs> Uh, whereas the second player does have this sort of southern starting point. But uh, the thing is, this area is a lot less, you know, strong than this area because you got the two castles here. This is kind of where you're supposed to build the wonder. So it does feel like a little imbalanced, kind of like the second scenario of the co-op uh, Sergio Varman campaign. Uh, but your enemies are all, I think, exactly the same in terms of how their bases are laid out. Uh, you have Hari Funchai here, just a couple of uh, castles. Trained some Cav Archers, Hussars, and Arambai, Trebs. The Lavo Kingdom doesn't have a castle, they just have some towers, uh, but they just train a bunch of infantry, monks, and rams. This is Dive Yet that I was really hoping that we could play as. I think I went over that in the video, which is now several days ago as I am recording this. But, yeah. I was hoping that this would be like an expanded area that, you know, you could have the Dive Yet player attack from the north and then the Khmer player attack from the south, but alas... Uh, the Southern Chum are probably the most powerful opponent since they have like this big old sprawling base across the uh, you know eastern coast, as well as the uh, the Northern Chum here with their two castles and whatnot. So that is it for the Surya Varman, the first co-op campaign that I played with Debbie. I hope you all enjoyed. Please be sure to check out Debbie's channel. It is in the description, as always. It was uh, a lot of fun playing this with her. I hope you guys also uh, enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll be able to do some more co-op campaigns together in the future. But as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.